it's nice to see Brandon Hall with a Ukrainian flag on the pitch with Hereford's logo in the middle. Of course, football stands together with those in Ukraine. The referee, Matthew Scholes, ready to get us underway and blows the first whistle of the match here at Edgar Street. York shooting towards the meadow end in the first half as Lennon John Lewis gets his first head onto the ball, returning from McLean, making the run forward, dispossessed though by McLaughlin, and won back by Gillella trying to play through Ryan McLean down the right-hand side, Keeble wasn't sure whether to come out and did in the end, collected it well away from Ryan McLean, Pete Jameson to Tom Owen Evans who put it away, Duckworth with a free kick scooped around the edge and it might fall for Jack Mackay, watched well by Brandon Hall out for a goal kick. Finds Greaves, plays it back down to Barrow again. First time ball into the box. Pierce had to get there, tried to just stab it away for a corner. And uh, wins a free kick in the end. As he was dragged to the floor by John Lewis. The right-footed ball from Kuyar, right arm in the air. Into the area it goes, almost punches away. McLean couldn't keep control of the ball first time. Back out to Mars Story again as Jameson only punches clear to a Hereford man down on the right hand side again with McLean trying to work his way past Mackay gets the touch off the York man last and out for a corner on the far side and I think Kuya is going to go over and take this one just in front of the visiting supporters in LM Western stand plays an outswinger towards the far post Haynes heads cracked across goal headed away by Barrow still inside the area as Vincent falls over tries to keep control Reven takes it over the left trips over out for a throw into York How's it gone backwards? far end of the Merton stand, Duckworth with the ball in hand for the throw, and plenty of York players making a run around, Lennon John Lewis being held up by Reven quite well, John Lewis does get the ball into the area straight into the, almost straight into the hands of Brandon Hall, and uh, over the top of the crossbar, up towards the edge of the area, cuts back in onto his right foot, plays it across, blocked by a keel right, Haynes nuds it down though, gets the shot away, Haynes! Took a deflection on the way through, out for a corner. In the end, Haynes plays it back to Gilella on the halfway line. Going to find Kuyar again, well covered though by Barrow very quickly. Kuyar ushers it onto his left, gets the strike away off the bar! Not too far away at all. I think Kuyar was going for the cross, but maybe the shot as well. Flicked on by Pierce into the air and out for a goal kick off the stanchion. Again, searching McLaughlin on the right-hand side, inside the attacking half. Almost brought down by Haynes, searches the ball for Lennon John Lewis, nods it down into the area, it's going to be stabbed through by Wood, through the legs of Brandon Hall. And smack bang on the 45th minute, the visitors take the lead. Good header by John Lewis, back in sort of that six yard box, wasn't it? It's probably one of them ones where your keeper needs to be really, really brave and come out and just throw himself at it. Woods, to be fair, committed himself as well and he got in, just, just got the toe on it, but it's, it's a good little cross field pass as well, actually, is Tomas Story heads on and towards the centre of the attacking half into the air by Woods and High Haynes comes through the back and wins the ball away sets Miles Story free down the right hand side if you can keep control of the ball against Barrow who slips over gives Story some time to clip the ball into the area and a weird defensive header from Akeel Wright I don't think he knew where he was going to head the ball puts it away behind the area Dyson goes for the right footed ball in towards the area Pollock gets a head up against John Lewis over the bar they go away for a corner on the near side and the supporters for that both home and away fans have contributed to that this afternoon and the attendance 1982 1982 great year Gillette and towards Kuyar shoved off the ball easily by John Lewis Greaves now goes for a low drag shot takes it wide out for Greaves will make a charging run forward again will it be in a bit of space on the left hand side as well to pick up the ball Gillella's got to come and cover will it be does wonders just to work the ball onto his right foot gets the strike away Brannon Hall's in the right place to save Patter now with a bit of space to run into to Mars Story on the left hand side slows things up Patton still running forward here Farl is with him Patton will still go Bobbles on the floor, gets the shot away, takes a deflection. It has gone out for a goal kick in the end. Yeah. Looked as though it had taken a bounce. Free kick plays short to Tom Owen Evans. Almost dragged back down by Lennon John Lewis. Pinchard now on the right hand side, takes it towards the corner flag. Barrows going with him. Pinchard though comes away with it clean. Tom Owen Evans turns his man into the area, plays it through. Mind drop for Pierce. It's just <laughs> off the line. 
by the skipper, Patrick McLaughlin. Then John Lewis will try and break away. Pollock goes through. Reven slips over on the surface. Tamar Story on the left-hand side. More attacking presence from the Bulls now as they come forward. Mar Story into the area, tries to get the shot away. Almost shots for Kuyar. Tom Owen Evans stabs it. Kuyar with the shot! <laughs> it's in! Get in there! That's been coming. We just got a little bit ahead of steam, didn't we? We kept the ball well. Got a little bit more direct, getting the ball wide, getting the wingers running at the full-backs. Owen Evans does well on the edge. Probably wanted to have the shot himself, but realised Kuyar was in a better position. That's a great strike from what, 20 yards out, beats Jameson at his right-hand post. And just rolls it down to the floor, clears down the left-hand side. Farrell wins the header. Tom Owen Evans, and goes through the back. Farrell will chase forward here. Farrell still going, being dragged back to Pinchard on the right-hand side. Pinchard cuts it onto his left. Drops back for Gilella on the right-hand side of the penalty area. Felt as though Farrell was being dragged back as he ran forward. Top of match of the day, that would be. Barrow on the far side with the corner. Plays the in-swinging ball. Brandon Hall goes for the punch away. Only drops out as Dyson gets the shot away. He found himself in another vacuum there, didn't he? Breeze its way through the Merton stand. Patton over towards... Be direct. Story on the left-hand side. Be direct. Go on, run at him. Go story go still on. going down the line. Puts the ball into the area. Drops back for oh. Tom Owen Evans. Plays it too high and over. Saw his name in lights there, didn't he? Saw his name in lights. Probably had a little bit more time than what he thought. Probably could have brought it down instead of trying to get the first-time volley off, which is what he did.